Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Munga Des Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This can be your reading if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And um, I am Virgo in five placements and channeling messages mainly in love for Virgos. This one is your reading for June 2023. Um, mainly focusing in love but whatever is coming up. So I am going to use the Queen of the Moon Oracle to uh, find some answers. But before we do that, in uh, June we've got uh, many significant events, but I am going to bring out three of them. The full moon coming on the 4th of June, the new moon on the 18th, and we've got the summer solstice on the 21st. So... The interesting uh, thing, because I'm a numerologist as well, uh, that uh, this month is a four universal month. Number four is a very special energy in uh, numerology. It's not a master number, but it is a very powerful number because it's, pa it's um, a number of leadership, uh, authority, knowledge, stability. So... This number is uh, also coming together from 2 plus 2. So it's like the relationship with yourself and also the relationship with the universe. So to create stability in your life, especially this month, you can um, feel some kind of conflict between uh, feeling uh, sensitive, emotional, or uh, feeling you have a drive towards something. Now, to find the balance would be the best way forward. And let's see uh, what is showing up in love for you, Virgo, in the month of June. I am feeling like I would like to pull a card for the mind and a card for the heart because the, the full moon is in Gemini. And uh, on the 4th of June. And Gemini is the sign of the twins. So Gemini can be um, a bit uh, overtaken by their perceptions and expectations, which all comes from the mind, but they are also an emotional sign. So let's see, Virgo, what is the card for your mind for the month of June? And what is the card for your heart? Oh my God. This is just so cool, Virgo. You've seen that, right? So we've got the number 40 for your mind, for Universal Month, 4 and 0 together is 4. And number 4, acceptance, is for your heart. So we've got two fours showing up straight away so your mind is about this darkness energy four with the zero zero is about inner gifts so you need to use your intuition your uh, higher self's wisdom to find the right way forward so you cannot just use your mind usually this is the truth if you connect it with your heart that's when you are going to get the courage to walk this path which is showing up in the moonlight. With your heart, we've got acceptance and there are two people reaching towards each other. So this is something for your love life. You need to accept about yourself. Don't forget about the number two energies, two twos coming together. And you possibly need to accept something about your relationship very interesting so let's dig into this a little bit deeper <laughs> so cool and four is also um, an angel number and uh, it is literally like the angels are with you helping you wanting to help you wanting to guide you so this can be a beautiful month for you virgo the full moon allows you to let go of whatever is in the way of creating balance and clarity. The new moon is helping you to sow the seeds for what you would like to achieve in the next moon cycle. And because this um, moon 
is uh, in Gemini, the new moon will be also. It's about um, sowing a seed of a thought or an, an idea. So something in regards to your relationship uh, could be seeded as well. And just talking about the summer solstice, the summer is going to start on the 21st of June. This is the longest day of the year. The sun is highest in the sky. And um, this is when the days actually start shortening also. So um, let's um, look into these energies in love. The mind is shown through this darkness energy and um, the heart is through acceptance. So you've got the five of swords at the bottom. This is about um, maybe um, realizing that you still have the energy to fight for what is right for you, what is true for you. This is an air element, this, this card. And this is having the full moon. People, um, you may be guarding the four swords around you, are uh, feeling safe and st feeling the stability. But this fifth sword is like, okay, I can do this. Uh, it's um, that strength which is showing up here. The page of cups uh, also uh, with it, it's like um, a surprise gift uh, to you. Um, when you open your mind to more opportunities, the possibility to find that path in love that is going to bring you happiness. Very interesting. Okay, what is about your heart, about this acceptance? What do you need to accept? What can we learn about this? Right, we've got the King of Swords, the Sun card, the Hanged Man, and the Six of Cups. So you have a soul contract with someone. Could be a soulmate connection. And uh, what you need to accept is... Um, I feel that you are very happy when you are with this person. They may be a bit too caught up in their mind, in their ego, but you still love them. And I feel this is the key here. Uh, you want to find the right approach to them. You want to um, make this a success. Yeah, you just don't know how. Eight of Swords. Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. This could also be a connection where you are in a third-party situation, and what you are asked to do is to accept that you have feelings for this person. may not be uh, the ideal scenario, but this is undeniably a strong connection between the two of you. So... Let's look into this. Let's look into this King of Swords energy who shows up as your love interest. Right. We've got Temperance and the Empress at the bottom. Okay, lots of things coming out. So your person is um, could be a Sagittarius is trying to find some kind of um, balance emotionally they are very much uh, uh, tilted out of that balance they might not show that because they are the king of swords they are very logical intellectual they always know what to do but within them hidden away there is this emotional like waterfall and the Empress is, I feel, how they see you, think about you. Um, this is a very beautiful picture. Um, they adore you. So what they want is uh, 
Okay. Wow, we've got so many major arcana cards. Wow. Okay, I'm going to show you everything <laughs> that shows up here. They are deciding about what they want to do here. So we've got the... I already told you about Sagittarius. Did, did we have anything here? Yes, we did have the Sun card. So we've got Leo energy and we also have Pisces. So what I can see is that um, your love interest is deciding about uh, approaching you. It's an offer, a new beginning in love. And they want to rebirth themselves and the connection. You could be dealing with a Scorpio energy. Um, and they want to succeed. So this could be a very difficult connection between the two of you. There is the magician with the word. So uh, nothing stopping them to create what they truly want. And... Um, you mean the word to them. That lady on the top of the earth is all they can think about. Think about. Oh my God, I can't even speak anymore. The Hierophant is showing up here. They are committed to you. And they want a new beginning. This full energy showing up with you. So many major arcana cards. So you could be dealing with, I mentioned Scorpio, another Virgo. Um, we've got Capricorn, we've got um, Taurus, and Aquarius energy here. Right, so what we learned so far is you may have a huge issue accepting that this connection is real. You Well, you know it's real, but... You feel it's not morally right because of the third party situation, yet you can't deny how strong this connection is. It's a soul connection. It's extremely powerful. And looking at these major arcana cards, this is a destined uh, part of your life. And, um, and something um, is changing this month about this situation. Also, don't forget that the full moon, which is coming up very soon on the 4th of June, is a strawberry moon. This is about abundance and prosperity. So you could be being torn between responsibility and, and freedom. So your responsibility in this case is like, I'm not going to ruin uh, another person's marriage, but the freedom is to trust the divine, trust that this connection is for a reason in your life right now. So it's very important to get things right. Darkness in your mind and acceptance in your heart. So your mind is not able to guide you anymore. There is no logical way forward anymore. You must trust your heart, your soul, your intuition and your intuition is telling you that your mind is useless it's just uh, locking you into this trap find another way find a different approach to solve this situation be the queen of wands be this gorgeous magnetic energy and work it out what you want Set your intention because this is a soul contract. You wanted it since uh, before you incarnated on earth and uh, it is unfolding. So you need to get your ducks in, in a row. You need to know what is what, what you want to do with this situation. Because you always have free will. So this is very interesting already, Virgo. Now, I am going to ask more because you obviously have an inner conflict about this.
So let's work with this Ten of Pentacles, this third party energy. It is um, someone else in the picture. I feel this one holding this magic wand is you and there is a couple in the background or it could be in any way you want. I just do feel that something comes to light this month. So don't forget we are looking into this third party energy. And that creates a conflict within both of you, within you and within your love interest. I've got the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups and the Two of Cups here. Four plus five is nine plus two is eleven. So this is one more cup, <laughs> an additional cup. Because Ten of Cups is the happily ever after, one cup is the new beginning in love. So I feel that... This uh, third party situation is um, helping the two of you work through the pattern of rejection and this grief which you might be feeling about not finding your partner, finding someone who is not available, there is this one on her own swimming in that lake, is uh, possibly a limiting belief about yourself if you keep attracting people who are married unavailable emotionally then you have some huge block within you which is not allowing you to um, a fear a huge fear not allowing you to be truly with that person who you feel mutual love towards you love this person and they love you and you both know this and that creates this enormous conflict within the two of you. So what is the change that is happening this month in this third party situation? What is the change? Three of Cups with the Ace of Swords. So that is clarity. Three of Cups has many meanings. What I am getting, two things actually. One is you and your love interests are feeling the sense of belonging. Maybe first time ever towards each other. Also, it is about celebrating relationships um, and um, me can mean that there are far too many people in the connection. So the two of you are starting to realize that you are more alike than you think. And um, this also could be a twin flame connection. And that is a completely different story. But the key is that you both want to settle down with this connection that's your wishes and uh, a passionate new beginning uh, so i feel that um, some kind of uh, commitment is going to be expressed towards each other between you and your love interest this month i'm saying some kind because we don't have a divorce card here so not sure what exactly that might be okay so so far what i am getting for the month of june for you is that you are going to gain clarity about the connection knowing it's a third party situation which you possibly knew before and uh, maybe seeing uh, the limitations of this connection or you could be finding the way forward which your mind is not giving you but your heart will because this 
a feeling of acceptance is what is going to make a huge change and bring happiness. Okay. So, what is happening between the two of you? This is the energy oracle. I used the um, Mystic Dreamer Tarot so far and uh, the Queen of the Moon oracle. And this is going to be a Celtic cross for the two of you. The thinking man. Look at that. Number 46 energy. So, thinking is not going to get you where you want to be. You could be a perfect couple because you are the queen of swords. In this case, they are the king of swords. You are both very intellectual, very, very uh, witty, um, quick uh, mind oh, is it quick minded I don't know whether it's a word I, or I am just making it up uh, but the key is that this is the current energy so you both know that on the land of the mind you cannot solve this uh, puzzle or this riddle Ooh, the obstacle is man holding a heart so definitely definitely is a, an obstacle in the way of the two of you uh, moving forward. The subconscious position is the contract. So you both feel that there is a contract between the two of you. Recent past blossoming abundance, current energy walking away. So, well, oh, wow. That's, and the uh, immediate future angel of strength. Um change energy oh my god this is everything <laughs> coming at once so the change that's going to happen this month is that both of you are going to withdraw likely uh, because you both need to decide what to do. Right now you are walking away from each other. It's, it's possibly giving each other space rather than ending the connection. And um, because you feel happy with each other, you know there is love here, mutual love. And the angel of strength is about, it's like the strength card in the tarot. Also, it's about your inner gifts, your the changes uh, you can create. And yeah, this change, this change is so strong. So I'm going to get first this man holding a heart as the obstacle. What is that? Three of pentacles. Yeah. Three of swords and the knight of wands. So this is heartbreaking for both of you that um, you met and it's like not going to be an easy path to be together, to get together, because Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, third party situation, it can be an affair, but can it be anything else? So there is this problem. And yeah, look at that, the death card showing up with the hermit. So you both need to rebirth your intentions, your way of thinking of your life, of where it is heading. You both are retreating to your cave, to look at things in a different light, to become the hermit for now. So you are drifting away from each other to find a solution for the future. What is this angel of strength as the immediate future? We've got the five of pentacles. So yes, you are moving away from each other. Justice card, rever card reversed and we've got the high priestess. So you both are listening to your intuition, feeling abandoned by the other person and uh, the justice is reversed. So you both feel it's unjust. It's not right that you met. It's amazing and you can't be together. Um, however, your person's first thought, if they are the married party, which it looks like, isn't like I'm going to get divorced. 
so there is something here that you both need to talk about. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands underneath the High Priestess. So you both are shutting down for now, uh, trying to find a way forward. And um, you are working on yourselves and there will be communication later on when the two of you will come together like I had a conference with myself. I had a conference with myself. Let's see what we can um, do about this. So this is very, very interesting. And um, the possible outcome is the financial constraints. So what Spirit is showing that... Um, um, if your person decides to divorce, possibly they lose everything uh, that they worked for or, or a lot of that. And um, they might not be in a very good financial situation right now. So ju um, justice, not justice, um, divorce is not an option for now, for them. So Virgo, this is very big. But definitely a change is coming. You are walking away from each other to accept the situation, see the, the possibilities, and then come together and talk about it. That's what it shows to me. Okay, so Virgo, you need to get clarity on how you feel, what you want, and set your intentions accordingly. So, work out what feels right for you, work from your heart, and, uh, and see where it takes you. Let me know how it resonates. Uh, please keep liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I'm very grateful for you to be here. here. Sending you so much love. Take care. Bye for now.